Today I'm going to help you make your Steam Deck go from looking like this and this to looking like this. So let's hop right in. All right, so right now I have a fresh install so that way I can show you everything step by step and you could follow along. So the first thing we're going to do is that we're going to hit the Steam button, power, and then you're going to switch over to desktop mode. So after you switch over to desktop mode, the first thing we're going to do is that we're going to open the browser. And if you don't have the browser installed, then you can always download it from the shop right here called Discovery. And if you don't have Discovery on the bottom, you can hit the little start menu and then you can type Discovery in the search bar and you'll be able to download it. So once you got your browser downloaded, just open up your browser and head over to Google. And then on Google, look up Decky Loader and it should be the first option that comes up for you. It's going to be a GitHub repository, so it'll look something like this. Now this might look a little bit confusing, but don't worry about that. All we need to do is just scroll down until you see Decky Loader and the download button. So just hit the download button and it will most likely automatically download it over to your downloads folder. So if you just hit that little folder icon right here, it'll take you over to where it downloaded it. So what I like to do is that just grab it and drop it on the desktop, then hit the move here button and we're ready to go. All right, so first thing, we're going to open the Decky Loader that we just downloaded. And then after that, you're just going to hit next. It may give you this prompt or it might not depending on how you set up your device, but don't worry about that. If you do get this prompt, just hit yes. And then we're going to keep it on the default option, which is the release because the other option, the pre-release might not be very stable. And then after that, once it's done, just hit OK, and we're done. We're just going to head back over to the gaming mode so we can start installing our mods. All right, so now that we're back home, you're going to hit the button with the three dots, and then you'll notice that there's a new option now that looks like an outlet plug. And if you happen to not see this option, just hit the Steam button, and then go to Settings, System, and then under System, you'll notice that right here, there's System Update Channel. Make sure that you're on Stable because if you're on one of the other ones, it tends to be a bit buggy. Sometimes it doesn't show up. So once you switch over to stable, your Steam Deck will most likely want to do a restart. And then after you restart, you should be able to get that button now. All right, great. Now that you've done that, just go over to that new icon that we have. And then you'll notice up top that there is a little shop icon. Just tap on that. And basically what we have done so far is that we downloaded a store that will allow you to be able to download mods. So the mod we're looking for is that first one right here. So just hit install and then confirm. And once it's installed, it will open the menu back up and it will show you that now you have CSS Loader. All right, so now for the fun part. So we're going to hit the three dots, go to CSS Loader and manage themes. So what this basically is, it's a store that has a bunch of themes on it. So you're able to download whatever you want and customize your device. I usually like to sort it by most downloaded and then you can scroll through and find whatever mods you'd like. So for example, you might want your device to look like the Nintendo Switch Home a bit. So we're just going to tap on that mod and then hit install. They're very small, so they install in just a second. And then after that, I'm going to install a couple of other ones and then I'll show you how they work. All right, so I just downloaded a bunch of mods. So after you're done downloading whatever mods you'd like, just go back to the home and then we're going to hit the three dots and now you'll notice that you have a bunch more options and these would be all the themes that we just installed. And the nice thing about this is that when you apply a theme, you don't need to restart your device or any of that stuff. You can switch between them whenever you like and it's very quick and easy. So for example, let's apply the Phantom one. So once I switch that on, you'll notice that the whole Steam Deck started looking like this now. And even if I go to library, for example, it changed the whole library and this is what everything looks like. It's very cool in my opinion. Now I'm going to go back and basically go back to CSS Loader. I'm going to turn this one off and then I'll turn on a different one. And this is my personal favorite, the Pit Boy from Fallout. And then once you turn it on, you'll notice all the menus already changed, including your library and the menus on the side, even the settings in here, even your home screen. And I really like this mod because they paid attention to the details very well, because even if you try and turn up or turn down the volume, they even change the color for that as well. All right, so you usually have two types of mods. There are ones like this where they overhaul everything. There's smaller ones that basically just change very little things. For example, I downloaded a mod that's called Round. And basically when you turn that on, it will round off basically things like this, where it rounded off the tabs, it will round off your games, and I feel like it gives that clean look to the device. Also some mods, when you turn them on, they give you options on the bottom. So for example, this one gives you the intensity of how round everything is. So if I increase it to 30, for example, notice how this got even rounder. If I make it on the lowest, it's more squared. So if I turn it up to 30, for example, and then I go back, you'll see that all the games now also look rounded. Another small mod, for example, is the Switch Like Home. So notice in the background, you see the Elden Ring logo right here. If I turn this on, you see how it moved down? So basically what this one does is that it pushes everything down so that way it looks a little bit cleaner and the photos for all the games just show up up here in the back. So this is what it looks like, for example. Another mod that I really like 
if we open a game up like this, you see how it looks. It basically shows a little bit of the picture with a bunch of info on the bottom. That one that I downloaded is called Clear Game View. And basically if you turn this on, now you see how it would look like. It's a big photo with the info just right here. And if you wanted the rest, of course, you can scroll down, but it just gives it a little bit of a cleaner look. So some mods change the same exact things, so they would probably override each other. So to customize that, if you go back to CSS Loader and you scroll down, you'll notice, for example, that when I turned on the option for the Pit Boy, it basically gave you all these different settings under it as well that you can customize. So let's say, for example, you downloaded a mod that changes the font, and this one also changes the font, you can just turn off only that one. So that way you could have the font from that one other mod, and then you can have the rest of the options from this mod. or maybe you just want to have the default text instead of the text that comes with this mod. So it's pretty customizable and I like that a lot. You can also use a bunch of different mods at the same time. So for example, right now I have the rounded one on, I have the pit boy on, I also have clean game view on, as well as the switch home on. So it gives you something that looks like this. So you have the clear games, you have the menu that's pushed down because of that switch mod. You also have the rounded corners on everything and you also have that fallout pit boy look. One last thing that I should mention that is very important is that if you hit the three dots and you'll notice that Decky Loader also has a settings button up there. So if you open that up, you'll notice that you're able to download software updates by checking right here. So just keep this in mind in case a new update comes out to your Steam Deck and it breaks your mods, then just go back in here, check for updates, and you'll most likely get a new update from here as well that will make it compatible with a new update from Steam. You also have an option for plugins right here where you're able to see all the mods that you have installed. And if there's one that you don't like, for example, hit the three dots and uninstall it. Though I recommend before doing this, open up the mod that you're about to install, undo all the changes that you did there first, and then you could uninstall it after that. Reason why I say that is because sometimes some mods, when you uninstall them, their changes are still there. So when you undo them before you uninstall the mod, they will revert everything back to normal. Then when you uninstall the mod, you'll be all good to go. And with that, I hope you learned something new. And if you did, please consider helping me out by hitting that like button and maybe subscribe. Peace.